and that attempt is therefore in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That attempt is headed for the road. I thought you would say amen. amen. After my personal analysis, it seemed to me that was another that of what I would call envy mania or jealousy mania. It was about two weeks ago I told you five media and I want you to add to those five media which I mentioned number. On the 9th of September 2023, these two other dads, arrows of Satan, envy media and jealousy media, which you must avoid in your earthly journey, so that you can meet with Jesus Christ in the cloud when he comes. I always remember the last speed of Allah Jesus Christ on that is on the unit. Therefore, Jesus Christ will be bleeding if any person for any reason whatsoever allows himself herself to be involved in any division or pseudo parallel organization. I repeat, Jesus will be bleeding if anybody attempts to be involved in any division or pseudo parallel organization as this will amount to swimming against the tide. John 15, 4 to 6, and Matthew 16, 12 to 13, while you are back in your respective houses, I want you to meditate on those two scriptures. Therefore, let us remember our result. At our ADC 2019, to remove the barriers once and for all. And never you put the thread the other way. No matter the urge. No matter the provocation, no matter the embarrassing treatment, we are today here raising the flag higher and higher. Therefore, I want to urge you all, my beloved in Christ, henceforth, never do or say anything to lower the flag. Let us all together see a very invisible cherubim and seraphim church. This is our mission, this is our destination, this is uh, our motto and so This is a duty we all are As I intend to wind up gradually, I have a sermon for all of you, my beloved members of the Ethicist Council. My darling chair at all state chapters, local government and mosques, and all my children all over the world. The assignment I have for you to is one, go out from today to educate the ignorant who speak and be spray against whatever they do not understand. And what they understand by instinct, like unreasoning animals. The Bible in Jude chapter 1 says, these are the very things that destroy them. Presently, I will explain that. But now, for example, any person out there that runs down this terribly and silly denomination because of those badges who impersonate us, and those who run us down, they behave as if they do not have their own, their own means, means, it means. Let me hit a little bit. Most of those whose base is CNS and I have no apology this in this session. I think so for selfish, distorting purposes and character assassination that we worship angels. Simply because from time to time, and usually at the beginning of our services, we do invite the presence of angels. Especially the four, the four foremost angels, only Michael, only Gabriel, only Raphael, and only Uriphel. I want to let you know that a million other angels, angels in addition to these four. And each of these angels, these four and the others, have assigned responsibilities or functions. In the same way that the president of any country 
is the head of the army forces. That is the army, the air force, the navy, the police, and for this purpose, the paramilitary, that is the road safety, the fire brigade, and medical service. As you all know, we all know God to be the Lord of hosts. And those hosts are the heavenly defense forces that is headed by one person called Holy Banker at India. His main duty is to defend us when the forces of Satan intend to attack or obstruct us. All of the angels I've just mentioned are servants. And the scripture is on, on, on the on, 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 on ambiguous about that. We will judge the angels on the day of judgment. Then those who accuse us of worshiping angels, the question I have for them, which I want you to also ask them is how can we be worshiping our servants who we shall judge on the judgment day? Those non-white garments are generous, and I believe. You know who they are. They know the truth, but they very forceful to swear that congregation. May God forgive them all. Let me ask you the following question to back the truth. If criminal lays it on your resident, the Lord, will you summon the police or fire brigade? Will you summon if criminals attack you in your house? And they tell you your face, will you summon the police of fire brigade? Again, if you have medical emergencies, will you summon the custom or ambulance? Ambulance. Again, if there is a fire break in your residence, will you summon the army or fire brigade? And again, if there is an external attack from soldiers of other armed forces, will you summon your own army? Or road safety officials that explain why we call the name Holy Michael, Holy Gabriel, Holy Julian, Holy Rifle. For, for now, I leave it by address to Holy Michael. Maybe, basically, Holy Gabriel is the commissioner for information to bring good news. And today, and on a daily basis, he will bring you good news. Amen. I need mean to say that this 23 celebration of Holy Market Day is unique in the sense that it is the first time in the history of the church when members from various concerned churches join together for this occasion and again the previous service practice of celebrating this occasion at their respective concerned churches. The Lord has called us today he will unite us permanently in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that no power that will put a division among us. Because Jesus Christ acknowledges those who gather and not those who divide. I therefore plead with the anointing I carry and on behalf of Lord Jesus Christ and on your behalf. And on behalf of the God shed on the cross that you go on your bended knees. I plead, please, from today, Go on your bed and need to plead with any person who may be aggrieved for any reason to come back into the fold and board the last hour. This is important. Going to the historical lane during one of the services in those days, in the month of September, when the church then known as society, the spirit of the Lord revealed to the fathers and most holy mother, through my darling mother. And the first supreme head of this church, my mother, Captain Christian, um, happy to in money, that the Archangel of the Michael should be named as the patron of the church. That was the declaration made on 39 September 25, which we are celebrating together today for this first time in 98 years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Without we are therefore building gold on that foundation and each of us must be fearful of God as to what we build on with effort. Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 10. I see today's celebration from two perspectives. One, 
coming together of all of here, all of us here, all the elects and beneficiaries of Light of Christ that has finally come onto the largest black nation in the world to St. Moses, so we must like to all and say, and my beloved mother after adopting man, my great, great predecessor in office. In this respect, therefore, the scripture has said, if this cancer or this body of men, it will come to naught. But if it will go, you cannot overthrow it. Let's appeal, you may find yourself fighting God. As of the apostle, chapter 5, verse 32 to 39. Here we are today, these past 28 years, the glory of God continues to shine. And we continue to shine in the name of Jesus Christ. And the gate of heaven, no matter powerful, shall not prevail by it in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Two, I see a brand of evangelism, the common day of the founder, taking place to win so for the kingdom through repentance as the end time is fast approaching. Therefore, beloved, watch and pray. And do not allow anybody to mislead you to partake in any gathering that may amount to creating a division within C and S Unification Church. I will continue to do my better things for any potential Satan misled leadership and misled fellowship to have anything. As I send you out to the outside world below, go and possess your possession. Amen. Go and win laurels. Go and receive favor from God and men. Amen. Go and be a source to this church. Amen. From today, may you only like a fight your battle on the same basis. May this salvation put smiles on your faces. And may it put happiness in your heart and sound personal in your head. I want to appreciate your presence today. And I believe that's a way we got here by the grace of God. It will be an explosion of gathering in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, the children and Sarah have been educated in the church of Nigeria. Lord, the federal report of Nigeria. That's